Hello and good morning, everyone. Meteorologist Hutch Johnson joining you. It is almost 6 a.m. And here is a look at what's going on with your roads and radar. I'll have details coming up right now. Now, a Hutch's weather update with Chief Meteorologist Hutch Johnson. Brought to you by Robert Gibb and Sons. All right, if you have not done so yet, I'd sure appreciate you heading to your uh, app store today on either device, and you can download Hutch's weather app. Let's get right to the latest right now, and what we're going to show you is the latest radar. These are all blizzard reports taking place in northeast North Dakota, northwest Minnesota, as the low-pressure systems are spinning through. The track of the heaviest bands of snow have been along the Highway 2 corridor, and that is where things are the toughest as far as conditions go right now. A little bit of light snow passing through the Southern Valley, and we have had a batch of rain that's now moving through the Twin Cities and basically with temperatures and road surfaces in the 20s, that's causing very icy conditions. A check at road reports and wind. What's this wind report that we're seeing here? We'll get to the very latest with a, with a pause of what's going on right here right now. So here we go. These wind reports, 69 miles per hour as we look up in the Shell Valley area in near Roulette County uh, in North Dakota and then a 67 mile per hour report in the uh, Dunseeth area. Uh, also, in Bismarck, 62 mile per hour gusts reported recently there as the wind gusts continue. And again, blizzards reported in Grand Forks in Crookston up in northwest parts of Minnesota near Hallock uh, at this particular time. A quick check of your area roads looks like this. We do have problems out there in North Dakota, and you can get all of this information on my website, hutchesweather.com, and the app. The red counties that you see here, this is I-94 down here. So to the north, in the northeast quadrant of North Dakota, no travel is advised anywhere highway 2 and a highway 11 or 5 corridor up to the north and in northwest parts of uh, north dakota in the oil patch the purple counties here a travel alert going on in those particular areas that's a quick look there south dakota roads look like this we don't have a lot of snowy impacts until we get into the north um east quadrant of the state there there's some pink covered roads there as we take a look in Montana, the wind has been uh, relentless into the overnight hours. But as we take a look at roads, it's just that northeast quadrant here that has the snowiest and iciest of the road conditions. We do have a couple of red flags up there to tell you about. And let's get to that right now. So as we take a closer look in Montana here, uh, we do see that uh, up near Plentywood and Freud and, uh, well, the Highway 2 corridor here through the uh, Poplar area having uh, some tricky travel conditions and very gusty winds being reported up in that area. And, in fact, we have a uh, sign south of Wolf Point here, an incident causing the road to be closed on Montana 13 from milepost 21 to 53. So keep that in mind out there in Montana. Now let's take another look at what's going on with regards to this storm system. And to do that, we'll take a look at this a model overlay of what's going on. And here we go. So as we head up into the look here, the pink counties are the blizzard warning all the way from northeast Montana right into the Roseau County area. Fargo Grand Forks are included. The heaviest snow band right now moving through Grand Forks. This model seems to be locked in right now, and it's the latest one available, showing you that the snow band quickly exits as we go out into parts of Minnesota, but the wind will stick around for some time uh, after that. So if I pause this just a bit, you can see here the heaviest of the snow bands moves from Grand Forks right into north central Minnesota. We do have winter storm warnings for Lake of the Woods and northern Beltrami County, but you could be seeing some heavy doses of snow moving in as we go towards 7 a.m. This snow and moderate to heavy style remains to at least 10 to 11 o'clock in the morning before it moves out into the arrowhead of minnesota still snowing in grand forks by the way by that time but diminishing snowfall amounts through the area as we go into the early afternoon as we've been talking about the last couple of days notice we never get the deep blue down here in fargo meaning the heavier snowfall doesn't hit our area but we do have that chance of snow making its way into the fargo area as we cross into the say 8 a.m time frame uh, that you see up here on the clock so wind and snow will uh, cause terrible impact Impacts to area roads. Highway 2 is going to be very greatly impacted, as well as you folks north near Highway 11, all the way through Roseau County and into International Falls. That is a quick look at what's going on this morning. I'll be here keeping you updated throughout the day. Remember, Hutch's Weather and Hutch'sWeather.com are here for you and the brand new weather app available for you anytime, anywhere. Here's a quick look at the website. Want to let you know here you can get the latest radar. Your road conditions are available anytime, and I encourage you to check those frequently if you must travel, but it's better to not travel uh, indeed. Now here's a look at the forecast for snow amounts as we uh, wrap that up again. This is mainly a roads report, but I do want to leave this information with you
you too as we head into uh, the morning hours and daybreak. We could see a few spots with four to seven inches of snow along mainly and north of uh, Grand Forks as we look at north of Highway 2 here. And in Grand Forks, you'd be right on that line where things could be a little bit on the heavy side, but maybe closer to the four inch uh, snowfall amount. One to three down to the south of that as that wraparound snow makes its way through the region. A uh, pocket though of healthy snow between Minot and say the uh, rug rugby and Rolla areas and on into the Devil's Lake Basin. A little bit lower snow um, amounts here in parts of central Minnesota, but you will certainly get some to the north of that near Bemidji and it looks like that heavier band of snow is taking aim on places like Black Duck, like Ten Strike and like the Red Lakes area here as it moves off uh, in towards places like Grand Rapids and Ely a little bit into the afternoon hours. I'll keep you updated right here. You're watching Hutch's Weather. Thanks so much for your support. This has been a Hutch's Weather Update with Chief Meteorologist Hutch Johnson. Follow us on Facebook and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Wait, you forgot the new app? You're right, I did. Don't forget to download. Oh.